What's going on YouTube? It's Aiden here. Um, I want to talk about two things in this video. The first thing is pretty much just the concept that um, I'm five years on T, two years post top. I don't really have much more physical changes going on in my transition. And um, it's really become more of a social transition now. It's really just you know, the transition of the mental, the social, the interacting, um, pretty much just what it's like to live male now, um, having grown up female. So I want to take that concept kind of just living socially as male. So the first reason I brought that up uh, is because like I haven't had much physical changes. So it's mostly just it's mostly just social. So that's been one reason I've kind of had a trouble finding things to talk about on the channel. I want to talk about when it's appropriate to celebrate being a man, coming, being FTM, okay? So coming from living, you know, I transitioned at the age of, I think it was 21 or 22. So being 22 years, female, butch, lesbian, um, and then now five years, or I wouldn't even say five years, let's say three solid years, because the first two years are kind of iffy. So we'll say three to four solid years of living full time um, socially as male, meaning, you know, everyone knows and sees me as male and reads me as male on the everyday going to get coffee at Starbucks or talking to someone um, at my job. Everyone just reads me as male. That's what I mean by that. So now I've been struggling kind of on finding the appropriate time that it's okay to celebrate being a man. You know, just like, when is it okay for me to be like, er, man, and not um, be seen in a misogynistic or negative way? I think a lot of times it stems off of one thing. Most people feel that in order to win, somebody must lose. And I think that's kind of not true. Um, I don't think in order for you to feel good about yourself, um, or for you to have pride in the team you're on. In order for me to have pride in what I'm doing, I have to necessarily step on other people to get up there. Um, I think a lot of people, in order for them to feel better, they need to win, they need to be first, or pretty much they need to know that they are not the loser in order to feel like they can celebrate something, okay? I don't feel like that. I have no need to step on other people in order for me to feel as though I am feel accomplished for the day. There's no need to bring other people down in order to raise yourself up high. That's how I have always felt and how I'll continue to feel. So being that, um, I don't feel like I need to downgrade on women in order to celebrate my manhood, okay? It's just not necessary. Um, so plus, I'm a white 27 year old male. I really can't say shit. We've been celebrating white men for the last how many thousands of years? You know, I almost, you know, I don't really have a right to celebrate manhood. Um, but at the same time, because I, I am female to male, I am transgender, I never lived that like stereotypical or the social thought lifestyle of a male. So I'm kind of struggling pretty much. Here's a good com reason why. And I, I had the conversation with a friend yesterday. It was a really great conversation. Um, and I was hesitant to even put this video out there because there's going to be a lot of people who are like, oh, you know, exactly what I said. Like, you're a white male. What the fuck are you saying? You want to celebrate manhood. You know what I mean? But like, I'm a trans man. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm a male, but, you know... Now, you know what I mean? I lived a female life all, all the way up until I was 20 years old. I went back six years into my life, okay, because I've been a hormone for five years. Let's go seven years into my life. I didn't know about being trans. I didn't identify as trans. I was just a lesbian. I was more butch. If you don't like that term, then I was on the masculine side of um, the female spectrum, and I identified as a lesbian, okay? When I took out the garbage, it was like, oh, I'll take the garbage out. And all the girls were like, yeah, you go, girl. You take that garbage out. You strong. You go to the, take that garbage out. You get that garbage, right? And it was like, oh, okay. You know, I'm, I'm defying, a, you know, the, what the norm is. Okay. Now I'm a man. Now I still have the same desire to take out the garbage as I did when I was a butch lesbian. I took out the garbage before. It was awesome. Now when I want to take out the garbage, it's like, Oh, well, you know, because again, because people don't know I'm trans, okay? So they just assume that I'm just a dude 
who thinks that I should be taking out the garbage because I'm a dude, okay? So when I go to take out the garbage now, it's like, oh, okay, I'll take that garbage. And it's like, oh, well, you know, why can't I take out the garbage? I'm a girl. I can't take out a garbage. Like, oh, you have to be the man and take out the garbage. Hmm. When I did this seven years ago, it was like a radical, like, awesome, cool ass thing to do. Take out the garbage, you know, or, or just, just to be a, fa a female and take on a masculine role was like really, you know, masculine, you know, it was really giving power to women. Um, and now when I do it, it's like, I'm doing the opposite. Before I was giving power to women and now I'm taking the power away from the woman. So it's really confusing. And you know, that's not what I want to do is take power away from women or from anybody. I don't care if you're a male or a woman or whatever, you know? And I understand that I am seen socially as a white male who has all these privileges, okay? I understand that. I don't have a right to really, or like, you know, we've been celebrating men the mass, last like the billion years, okay? So for me to say something or like to try to celebrate my manhood, it's like, Really, bro? Like, we've been celebrating your motherfucking ass, like, years. You know what I mean? Like, thousands of fucking years, you know? Like, I think you can calm down, sit in the corner, you know, and shut up. And, and, and I get it. I do. But so what I am really struggling with is, like, when is it appropriate for me as a female to male transgender person? When is it appropriate for me to feel okay in my transition from female to male understand like I can celebrate by not bringing other people down you know what I mean I understand that and being equal you know I get that but like you know at the same time it's really hard because I I do want to give women power um I do want to be you know a feminist to the female world um coming from a male world ish you know what I mean like I want to give women power that they deserve I want to give everybody the power that they deserve you know as you can see like this struggle you know and and, and it's probably my age here. I'm 27 years old I'm realizing what it means to be a white male I'm realizing you know all the fucked up things that go on in the world I'm realizing you know the misogyny that is out in the world and the racism that is out in the world you know like I was never taught to be misogynistic or racist or anything like that but there's like embedded things that society has really taught us. I mean, I was raised by a single mom. I had two older brothers. She worked three jobs my whole life. I know I wasn't raised any negative ways, okay? But I do know that the TV, the computer, socially, you know, education, you know, like going to school, education, stuff like all that stuff is embedded shit in my brain, right? So now I'm kind of at the point where it's like, all right, my tra my physical transition is over. Now I need to become the man that I always wanted to be and the man that like, you know, stands up when he should and sits down and shuts up when he should. I think my best position is to do that, is to just kind of shut up, sit in the corner and just watch and listen and try to gain knowledge. See that struggle that I'm going through now? So that's really what I've been about lately. You know, again, I wasn't trying to offend anyone. I'm just being honest. That's what I like about my channel is that I'm just brutally honest and I say exactly how I feel. And honestly, like, I try not to offend people because that's my lifestyle and I don't like to offend people. So, um, hopefully you guys can understand where I'm coming from in this video. And, you know, I'm really just trying to be a good guy. And I think that's going to take a lot of learning curves and it's going to take a lot of years and years of learning. I mean, I've only been seen as male for five years. Um, yeah, I'll stop rambling. And uh, I think it's a good topic. If anybody wants to talk about it some more, I'd love to watch a video on your thoughts on it. I just thought it was an interesting topic. And I was worrisome to put it out there. But you know, that's what this channel's about. I like to talk about real things that come up in transition. And this is a real thing that comes up in transition. So all right, guys, that's it. Tell me what you think. Like the video, share the video. Peace.